got an application in from a prospective tenant for a property. Can you tell us a little bit about what now happens? Yeah, we would let the landlord know at this point that we'd had an application in on the property um, and we'd just say to them in detail what the application process entails and how long it would take. Um, and then once the tenant, once we've got um, a decision from the credit company, we'd then go back to the landlord and let them know the outcome of that. And that, and that outcome is based on traffic light system? Yeah, it's the red, amber, green again, like the tenant. So the red is a outright fail. The tenant's not suitable for tenancy because maybe they've not declared a CCJ or a bad debt on their application. Amber is yes, but maybe their income isn't high enough, so they would have to provide us with a guarantor, and then the guarantor would have to go through the same application process again. And green is good to go, they are suitable for tenancy, so we'd agree then dates with the landlord for moving, etc. Okay, is there anything the landlord needs to be doing during this period um, once we've got the green before they move in? Well, yeah, we would need a guest certificate and an EPC, which the landlord would need to provide. On the day of the move, move in, we require the tenant and or the guarantor to come into the office to sign the tenancy agreement and inventory and also other paperwork we are required to provide them under the legislation. Uh, once all that's signed and agreed, we hand over the keys to the tenant and they move into the property. That's great, thank you.